shut the oven off for a second. Shut the oven off, Gary. All right, everyone, welcome back. We are on Vancouver Island doing a steelhead trip. So it's kind of mid-December. We're probably a little bit early, but we're gonna try our best. We're on the Cowichan River, staying in a cabin right on the river, which is pretty sweet. I'm looking at about 50 coho sitting in this river right now, but unfortunately it's fly fishing only in this section of the river, so we can't toss any jigs in at them. We're going on a raft, doing a guided trip, floating down, starting just down here. And then the next day, we're just going in on foot and trying to see if we can maybe get into some coho down river a bit more where you're allowed to use gear. <clears throat> and then um, after that, we're heading out to Port Alberni, fish the Stamp River. And there we'll probably have a better chance at getting into a steelhead. I filmed the footage for from the float yesterday. So it's the day of the walk-in fishing. We're just about ready to eat breakfast and get ready to go. And yeah, so stay tuned. Get some good footage of something today. All right. Yeah, exactly. If I'm flowing with it, like obviously if I want to slow us down, I'll back row and then that's when you might have to recast it. But if we're just cruising, Water just matters if you're bouncing, you keep it in perfect grip, so then you're good to go. There we go. That one, yeah. So cool how they have like the, the cutty, Colors? or yeah, and like the, the white tips on their fins like that. That's what the dollies have in the shoe swap. Oh. Holy, he took a good run there. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> he was a little rambunctious there for a second. Yeah, let's get some good looks on him in here. Yeah, the white tips are sweet. Nice. And on four to uh count. Why the cows and said this it is a special place for us. Like it is all catch and release. These are all native fish. There is no hatchery systems. Hatchery for the salmon, but they don't hatchery fin clip. It's like the natives do the hatchery thing. Yeah. This is water so clear. These fish have a chance to look at everything you're doing. This is a cool spot in here. Is that a big trout sitting right there? Yeah, right behind oh, there's right there. one. Right there, yeah. Good, good size. Come on, grab my thing. I floated right by him. Come up, 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 up. You probably want to have your leader. Oh, I got him. Yeah, you did get him. That was a little jack. Yeah. I oh, saw him take that too. I thought it was a salmon at first. Oh, yeah. Boy, they see everything here, right? I tricked this one. Yeah, good presentation. He obviously had a perfect little drip. This water is so clear. That's better fish. Heavier, heavier than that. Yeah, a bit fatter. Yeah. Like lamprey eel marks. From the eels trying to get them? Yeah, there's like lampreys, so that's what they, those are like eels. Oh yeah. Crazy. Cool, nice little fish. Yeah, they do look like they're starting to spawn, hey? Yeah. So hard to keep it at that depth. I'm following you. There he is. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I felt, I saw the rod tip. Oh, I thought they were really nice, I thought they were really big rainbow toast, which they do get that big, that looks like a rainbow. Where is he? It's fucking right behind you, it's a big fish. It's like one of those 20 fucking... Oh, he's off. So hard to read the bottom, eh, or where are you? Yeah, where you are. You kind of got to do it by feel, like that's why I fish that really heavy tungsten, but it all yeah. depends on the type of gravel. Like if you got big boulders, you can feel it ticking. Yeah. If it's just the sandy bottom, you don't really notice. Yeah, it's hard to like feel the ticks yeah. and then know the difference from when they bite it because it's so subtle. Yeah. The hookup ratio is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Nice fish too. 
they go right down and rub those. See how they yeah, rub yeah. Those and it, so it pops that hook out. Yeah, he's trying to get it out. Rubbing it, eh? Yeah. Interesting. You don't get to see that normally because it's... Yeah, because you can't see the fish. Yeah. It's so cloudy yeah. too sometimes. He looks like he's got those scratches on him too. Oh, hey. Damn. He's putting some beef to me right now. That's one thing that's amazing. Like, if you have some good power. Fucking right he does. But the current also helps. Yeah, like, I mean. the four weight rods. Yeah. Combination of everything. Just, that's kind of why we fish and make makes exciting. it yeah it makes it a bit more of a challenge yeah jeez he's not giving up that's for sure There you go. Beauty, man. That's what we're here yeah, for. That's yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, he's got some nice color to him, too, mm -hmm. all the way up to the head. Right on. Cool. It's probably like a, what, pound and a half, too? Yeah. Like I said, I could have measured them. Like, I don't go by pounds. I don't know. I don't I never weigh them. Oh, yeah. But that was like a, you know, 16 inch fish. Good. Yep. Yeah. Just a wee baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. He's pissed. Uh, yeah. yeah. Faster water, wherever the faster water is, we should be fine. Oh, he's off. Oh. Took a big run and slammed into the ground, I think. Like it's like, We're not far at all. Like I, at some point, I'm gonna have to just like cover some ground. I know these spots are like where they're good fishing. Yeah. But I can burn the day up top, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah, same. <laughs> this is fun. We need to get a float boat, Dad. <laughs> For the Adams. We probably end up fucking killing ourselves trying to do that. Yeah, something like this vibe is about a halfway point. There's a, it's called a 70.2 trestle. And once we get below that trestle, we can run gear as well. But it's just this top section of the river, that's because all the trout and all that stuff, it's, that's yeah. why they've got it fly fishing on there. There you go. Wow. I saw that sucker eat that too. <laughs> Funny you watch them eat it. Yeah. Oh, it's, awesome now, it's cool that you can watch them eat it like that, though. Like if you're standing in the oh. river, you'd never see it. It'd be hard yeah. to detect the strikes, too, right? Yeah. So, aren't you glad to meet me? I think you should. I'll be glad to meet me. If I were you, aren't you glad to meet me? I think you should.
Got one. Dave. First brown. Woo. Yeah, so there's this fall, but like they get like blues and reds and yellows and Yeah. Got such cool colors to them. The reds in them look sweet too. Yeah. Nice work. Cool. Yeah, I'll give it a rip. <laughs> that Just kind of work the water, right? Like pop it. You got to keep the thing moving because if you let it sink too far, it's going to sink like a rock. Snapping and letting it drop is all the thing, right? Snap it, let it drop. It's more of a twit. I normally go through a run, I'll have like five or six good casts and you cover that water, change the color and fucking three right times away. and move on. Yeah, sometimes. Let it fall, yeah. It's all about that fall. Ooh. There is. Fire truck. Got him. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> no way. That was so <laughs> sick. First twitching fish. Oh, he's freaking out. That's a good yeah, fish. A oh, he hammered it. It was just like, next thing you know, you're jigging, jigging, and then it's just like, <laughs> and it stops. Oh, I think I, I don't know if I snagged him or not. You might, sometimes you do, but nine out of 10 times you get him in the mouth. Like, they bite the jig. It's not like oh. fucking, you might have snagged out. There's probably so many in there. Yeah. That we just can't even see. You know? Such nice colors, eh? <laughs> the black <laughs> under the fish. lip. Fucking really cool looking. Sweet. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. Yeah, that's a nice color for sure. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Cromer again. Another chrome, baby. Yeah. A baby steelhead. Oh, fucking hell. I'd probably say that's a steelhead. Square tail. Like, in general, like, it's like, you know what I mean? See, they have this super square tail. Yeah. It's like a steelhead par, you know? Yeah. Yep. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. It it, yeah. It's Brown another out. brown. <laughs> oh, I, I snagged him. That's why. <laughs> he had to have. Big rosy blue yeah, cheeks and that's stuff. That's a cool one. Yeah, I like the red dots on them. They're sweet looking. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. Thank you. That's awesome. Just fucking twitch them through there. Just watch where you're casting them on as they go right into the stone trying to hit the far bank every time. Yeah, so I'm that's sure. That's you get the stumps, like right? Because the wood's always right on the shore. I'm sure yeah. Dad will probably just send one right across the oh, whole river bank and into a tree. <laughs> what the fuck? What?
there and then just hook that one to the d-ring on the trailer okay yeah there you go Get all your stuff yeah all right let's do this going to be center pinning and jig rods. Alright, so we're at what we think might be the first hole. Start at the top and work our way down, or what? Full on rainforest in here. What a cool spot. It's not very deep. So, if you guys watched the last video, this is the same setup. Start off nice and shallow, I guess. See where we can find bottom. And hit bottom there. Let's try one on the inside seam. Maybe a bit deeper. There we go. Look at that thing. It's like a, a pterodactyl. I had a bobber down over there too. Got distracted by that monster in the tree. Yeah, bobber down, bobber slid down, egg slid down. That was something in there, I think. Let's try it again. This isn't fishable. Look at down there though. This white water turns into a hole down there. Yeah, I don't know if that's even accessible with a float. It's so nice and warm out today too. Like, it doesn't even feel like winter. It feels like fall. Where the f is a good hole? Need to find good hole for jigging. Yes, for jigging. Twitch, twitch, boom. Coho in my room. Oh, no grizzlies on the island, so that's good. No worries. Keep walking. There's a nice slow slick on the far where the grass is there. Let's go below this and see if we can find anything in the tail out. Or fish the inside seam. Yeah, let's try it. Fish the inside seam. Ow, fuck. Ah, uh, broke off. Time for the long haul back to the truck. We'll see you up there. Okay, well, we found some good jig water, so I'm gonna truck some jigs in here and see if we can find any coho, you know. I wonder how deep it really is here. Try going down that way, <clears throat> and I'll go up here. See if there's any. They might like the different color. Yep. Yep, I'm on. Oh, he... that looked chrome, Dad.
Let that sink right down to the bottom too. He was right here on this fucking wall. Fuck. That was like something. Ah, oh, that sucks. It looked like a chromed out coho. That one stings. Oh, it's a boot salmon. Is the head shaking good? Yeah, that's when you saw it, it was like. Yeah, I've seen that. Gave me like three good head shakes because it was right tight to this fucking wall. And then it, I moved my rod out to try and get it off the wall and it popped the hook. Well, at least we know that the way we're doing it is working. Always a chance for the cool hole. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Shout out to Red at I Guide Fishing. If you just go on Google and look up Vancouver Island Fishing for Steelhead, he'll come up right away. Wicked Float, he gave us a lot of knowledgeable experience. I've never done Euro nymphing before, so that was really cool to do, I and mean, it worked great. I also caught a couple brown trout that I didn't get on video. I'll insert those into the video now. And those were sweet. Those were my first brown trout I've ever caught. Um, there isn't many places to fish for them around BC, so it was really cool to, to hook into one of them. Thanks for watching through the whole video. Appreciate it. Give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.